Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jewel. It's kind of early in the morning for me to do one of these, but um, I just wanted to do a what's on my desk today and what I'm going to work on. And what I've been working on and how um, I'm just not feeling like working through the project today that I was working on and I'll get back to it tomorrow. I kind of had a long day of um, some medical tests yesterday, so I'm a little tired today. What I was, what we're going to do today is we're going to do some collaging. And I'm going to talk to you about some of the items that I just pulled out and um, some different things before we move on. But the project that I'm kind of moving around because you know I was working, I'm still working on those travelers notebook journals and um out of the craft text and the um you know how to make the covers look like leather and i did a video on that well i haven't done the insides yet of these see here's the cover and i did a bunch of them and it was a couple of videos ago so i still i'm still gonna get back to that but i'm kind of hopping around because i'm just not i'm not kind of motivated to finish to finish a project right now and I don't know what's going on it's I just finished that long series of doing the um if you haven't seen it the uh uh folio series with the matching junk journal the desk set and all that so I thought well you know I haven't made it a, I haven't made a soft-sided journal in a while so um I covered I started with these materials. I thought they were very pretty. This is going to be a soft-sided journal that I'm going to work on. And um, I will probably show you the process of that and how I take one of these. And that's the inside basis. A lot of times I'll put papers in them and, and glue the papers in and make it uh, sturdier. And also it will have... Uh, a pocket in them, but th these are very large. I picked up these at, I don't know, I think I probably have a hundred and I got them for like 25 cents at a Goodwill shop and I just wanted to use, I've been using them up in a lot of projects. So I make some of my soft-sided journals out of these, the fabric ones, because I like the flexibility of that as opposed to cardstock. See, I started to do this car use this cardstock the other day, and I just don't like to get the bend in it like that and the cracks in it. And that doesn't happen with those um, manila envelopes. So I covered the outside with this fabric. I think that'll be yeah, that's going to be the outside. I haven't sewn it, it's just been glued, and here's the inside. I'll do pockets and stuff on this. And um, I may even make a matching um, fabric, uh, fabric bag to go with it. So we'll see. But these are the uh, materials I pulled out. So I thought these were pretty. So I'm working on that. And today I just didn't, I wanted to do something that where I could just sit and create. So I decided to pull out um, scraps. I started sorting through this box and I went down and I found some greens. Well, here's another green. That shouldn't even be in here, but boy, that'll be cute to collage. And I just prop plopped them out on my desk. It's got a pile here. Oh, got a couple of scraps of envelopes. Um, I have a pile of these type of envelopes that I think I will collage, the little, the window envelopes. This one actually was like this, so I just folded it, and that'll make a nice window pocket there. I'll probably do an image right in there, maybe, um, maybe a Mrs. Cogs. And then I pulled out some of these envelopes. This one's got butterflies in it. I think that's so pretty. That'll be pretty with a lot of the yellow tones and things. So I just pulled out that. And then this one was in there. I'd taken this envelope apart. And I started thinking, you know, 
let me pull out, hold on, let me pull out a couple of envelopes. If I can find them that I collaged last, well, like three, couple weeks ago, and, and the bags, he, here's one, and, but I did it while the envelope was together, and I'm, I'm I, I pulled this out, I'm like, you know what, it might be easier to get to the very edges, and, you know, then you can just trim around to maybe... Be you know take your envelope apart though I don't want too much bulk so I'm just thinking it through I had made this one um see this is a great big envelope I don't know what I'll do with that yet and this is another super big one and these are just some bags I did so you can check that video out um somewhere down the line I can put it, I'll put a link, I'll put a link to that. I did a bunch of uh, papers as well. The Franken papers and all of that. So, I wanted to show you a couple ideas here. I'm going to go through these scraps in a minute. These came in the mail, and they're for these cruise lines, and boy, wouldn't I like to do that. <laughs> It's not going to happen anytime soon, but this is one of the, but look at these fabulous, well, not that, these, let me show you. Look at this, look at these photos. Look how beautiful that is. And look at these. I could tear these out and use them. Look at these little maps. These are just the cruise places. Uh, I could use these. Uh, look at I'll just I go tear this right out and and use these somewhere. So I have a I have a couple of these that I've saved in here. I hope I'm not too close on the camera here. Look at that. I just look how pretty. I want to go there. I want to go everywhere here. So look at look how beautiful. And look at see all the greens and so I thought, wow, well, those will come. You know, here's another one. Look at that pretty deer. Look at that. And I said, I'll use those. Those will be, I could cut them out and use them in journals. Or I could use them in my collaging. Then I pulled out some book papers. Old book papers, of course. And then I pulled out, I had one of these left in my stash. And I'll collage that later today. Um, More book pages. But I wanted to show you. If you guys mess up. You know, if you're printing something and your printer runs out of ink and you don't know it and it ends up looking like this, this is this was vellum that I printed in this a long time ago. I've had this and this printed in a completely wrong size and it's also in that purple color. I'll rip these things up and use them, you know, in my collaging. And they work great. See, here's another one that ended up one shade of the ink ran out. So now I have purple. I don't, I mean, if you want purple, but this, <laughs> that's not supposed to be purple. But I'll just use it for the little script and stuff. Then these images were supposed to be printed on cardstock. And I'm, I'll probably use them more for collage on this lightweight paper. I could back them on coffee dyed paper and all that, but... I printed way too many of them, so I'm going to use these in my collaging. And these should have been printed on cardstock, so, because I, I will put, you know, I use them as ephemera, and these this is too lightweight. So I have that. Hey, shh, that's enough. We're not going to do that. Then, when you die cut, if any of you die cut, look at this. Uh, you can use these, you know, right in your journal, but... I like to rip them and just use the sections and ink them in my collages. See, this was a frame. So, uh, that I, well, it was a big journal tag. It could also be a frame. I mean, I could cut right around this. But I like, maybe that one I'll keep as a frame. But like the smaller ones, I'll just, I'll just rip this and add some of that. And look at this pretty paper. I don't waste any of this stuff. This stuff is, uh, look how pretty this paper is. I did, I don't know, I did some journal with this. And look at this, this was a die cut. So I'll, um, 
you know, I will, uh, I'll use that. That'd be cute frame, but I'm probably just going to use pieces of it in a collage. It makes for interesting, interesting collaging. So I just wanted to show you that. So I pulled that out. That was just in a folder. I mean, I would probably only use a little bit of this today because it's going to be one. It's very rainy, very dreary. It's going to be stormy all day down here in South Florida. So <clears throat> I'm, gonna, I'm huddled in here in my craft room. And then I pulled out just some greens because I'm going to start with the greens. And I went down in my stash and, well, down in, I've got several of these boxes full of scraps. Actually, I like that. I'm going to pull that out. I'll go back through here. I just go in and, you know, I'll take a stack out and then I'll go, oh, let's see, <clears throat> that's a nice green. You know, you know, I, you know I'll use other shades as well but see this one i had already ripped off and used for some collaging on another project you can i can see that look i like this this is this was green paper that i had done some um art on and then uh stamping on one side and some art on the other that's somewhere in one of my books so this is cute anyway so I just, and then I've got some vellum pieces, and these I had used before. I thought they were cute. That's just printed vellum. I've got a doily over here, so I'm making a mess of my desk. So you can get the general idea of what we're going to do. So let's sit down. I'm going to pull my ink, ink, my ink, my ink. Let me have a sip of coffee here first. And pull my inks out because I probably will want to go around and distress a little bit. Uh, just the vintage photo. I'm not gonna make it too difficult. I just don't. I don't have the. I don't have the energy today. So. All right. Let's start. Let's start with this one because I. That's the one that I thought. Well, let's try. You know. Do we want to ink the whole envelope? No, because I'm going to cover it up. All right, so we'll start with this. Start. I like to start with my larger pieces on the bottom and then, you, you know, work your way out. So let me, um, let me rip this. And this is heavy. I like to go between the heavier and the lighter pieces because that way you don't get too much bulk this is like a piece of cardstock, so I really don't want too much of that. <laughs> That's my dog playing with the toy. This is his playtime. Why I chose now to um to, to film, I don't know. So I think I'm just I don't know. Do I want to ink that? That may get covered. Well, I'll ink it. I was gonna say it probably will get covered up. I'll ink around the top because that'll be at the top. Now for the heavier thing, I think I'm just going to use this glue stick right here. I was going to say for the heavier things, sometimes I'll come in and use, um, you know, uh, another glue. I'll tell you, you know what glue I've liked? And it worked for gluing on vellum the other day quite well, and I couldn't get this to stick. This is just the it's, it's just an Elmer's, but this is the extra, whoops, I'm the, the extra strength permanent bond glue stick. And I kind of like that. So I'll go between that for the, this is just the Uhu. Uhu. The Uhu stick. So I could have pulled some napkins out and pulled those in. Oh, let me show you what else I have on my desk. So let me just put that there. Um, I have these canisters full. These are just whey, whey uh, protein canisters. I have one here, and I have one here, and these are just full of just bits and trims. So that's how I store them, and I'm sure there's a better way to do that, but I can see them in here. So, like, if I want the green, see, like, I'll pop down in here. As a matter of fact... Let me pull, oh goodness, sorry, sorry about the squeaking back there. 
Gosh, I hope we make it through this video today. Uh, I might have to do this in two parts and come back. Let, let, let Ricky get it out. Ricky's only a year and a half. He's a rat terrier pup, a baby. I call him a baby. They're all babies. And I rescue dogs, so that ribbon might go in there somewhere. I rescue dogs, and um, he's the last of the the youngest of my three, my now three rescues. I've been rescuing dogs for 30 years, so they get, they get a real happy life here. Let me tell you, they're pretty well spoiled. My sister actually had, oh, look at that pretty shabby chic uh, flower. That doesn't belong in there. That's going over my stash. Over with my, my flowers. Let me see if we have any other ones in here. I could pull out, I'm probably gonna get way too much stuff on my desk and then I'm gonna just be overwhelmed. I do this to myself, I already have. Do I have this color out? No. I'm probably drawn to green today because it's so dreary out there. It's like, you know, we live in South Florida, it's always green, but when you have days, I sometimes it'll go four or five days that it's kind of rainy and yucky, and I have to see the sun. I don't do well when I don't see the sun. And I'm not, I mean, I know a lot of y'all live up north. I did that for a lot of years, so... I, I just can't do it. I can't be. I gotta be in the warmth. Oh, there's a little cheesecloth. Cheesecloth is always good to keep on your desk. Lace. That's it. I'll pull out some more later. I'm just gonna get too much going on. Just got a little bit. I wish I had some scraps of muslin here. Cause here, I've got a little bit here. And I'm... So I'll just keep this piece here if we want to do that. Something else with Ricky right now is he hasn't had his, they haven't had their, they eat their first meal like at around 11 and I'm probably going to have to. Well, my husband gets up real early and he always gives them a snack then. And I make their dog food. Okay, let's see. My frame. A piece of ledger sheet that works. Got a, this one's been coffee dyed, so I might work a little quiet today, guys, because um, I'm just really kind of tired. All right, put that there. Let me see, should we get some floral in here? That's kind of pretty, uh, let me see. I had another little floral piece that I really liked back here. This is pretty, do this one. It's already a nice cut out, so. And then sometimes you can go back in. If you're not gonna sew these, <clears throat> now since this one's opened, I probably will sew this one because I can get in there and sew it in my machine later before I put it back together. <laughs> but the, the one wants to play and the other one doesn't over there. Um, but if the envelope is closed and I'm putting it together closed, obviously I can't, you know, I just leave it glued. And then what I'll do is I will go back and if any corners are up, I'll just, I'll, I'll just stick a little glue stick under there. This says bird's eye, birds. Put a piece of book page a piece of book page here. I like to cut. 
Yeah, why not? So do you, I don't know, do you guys like to collage um, days that I don't feel well? And then, you know, a lot of people love to make the clusters. I've made some of the clusters. That's another fun way to just relax and kind of use up, use up your scraps. And, you know, it's just, it's an enjoyable little art form, really. So... A lot of, I guess Jessica Rapp came up with the cluster. I don't know. I just, I've heard it mentioned. I've watched her channel some, and I'm pretty sure I saw her, but I saw it somewhere else too, so I don't know where I first saw it. And it just goes, you know, once one. And I, if, to be honest with you, if I make something for the very first time, and I've seen it recently on a channel, I give that credit where credit is due. I just don't like, you know, just copying somebody and saying, oh, I came up with this and I came up with that when I didn't, you know? It's, I just think it's, that's just a nice thing to do. This is kind of, it's too bright. Let me pull this back over here. I have this, we like a little, let me cut this. This is a pretty graph. Ooh, do I like that side better? Or this, ooh, I like, I don't know. Well, I'll have enough for two, so let me just cut this. I would rip it, but I, I like the, um, I want it to go over this one, see? So, I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna rip, I'm going to cut it a little bit more, a little bit thinner. I don't like this paper cutter that much, but this is the only one that I can really fit on my desk, so. I'm, oh gosh, I hope I haven't been out of frame the whole time. I think what we're gonna do here is I'm going to take a piece of this material, not that one, I want a long one, and put it in behind here. And I think I'm gonna use this side. Yeah. I get my scissors. I don't want that edge yeah okay do that do a little inking on this because this is going to be over top that so let me ink down this side I can come back here say and ink here after but I I probably will take this to the machine after I'm gonna use a little bit of my Eileen's here I don't really need a ton because like I said, I'm going to, whoops. I am going to machine sew this. A string. All right, I'll probably come back and just trim. I don't have to trim that off. That can go right around the corner. All right, and then we'll put this one down. Actually, I don't know, if, I don't want that. I don't want it that long. I do like this side though with the with the leaves. I hope the lighting's okay. I, you know, I know this side of my desk is darker because I only have the one, how's that? I hope, is that gonna give us too much glare? There, that's a better. I only have the ot light 
I'm going to put it over here. Um, Ricky, go lay down. Go lay down. I'll be with you in a minute. I only have the odd light on the, the one side of my desk, and I have some overhead lights, but what about a piece of this? Oh, I did the, I'm going to peel it up. I wanted the ink there. I wanted the ink side up. I kind of ripped the wrong side. That's okay. You get a little time with the glue stick to... I feel like I need a little something up here and I may come back and put like a little photo up there. Maybe one of these little doohickeys. Maybe these little birds since I have the bird's eye. I can rip around that and put that up there. I think, well, why not do it right now? Why not? Since we're here, and I'm not the best at this collaging. You know, this is just, there are some of you, I've, oh man, that's what you, you guys are artists. You're artists at that. <clears throat> and I do it mostly just to add to my journals and add some interest and for relaxation, you know? So, look at my birdie. I want my birdie there. Let me see. He's kind of cute down here. I don't know. I think I'm going to put him, well, do we like that plain spot for writing on? No, I'm going to put the bird up there. That's the thing. You don't want to get too precise. If you get too precise, then it kind of just takes you know, the, the look of the collage away where it's, it's too thought, well thought out. You have, you have to think it out a little bit, you know, you know, you want a little bit of, a little thought into it, but it doesn't have to be, um, you know, it's fun, it's fun stuff. It's fun times. So enjoyment. I'm inking this all the way around because I think it, well, I still am going to have a little bit of, I have to do a little bit something there, so that's okay. Am I staying in frame? I hope so. So anyways, like I said, I have so many different projects that I just need to complete, and I just, I don't know, I've been kind of just going from one to the other. And I, I kind of need to probably just finish them. I feel like we need something beige down here. We just have way too much green. Or this, this is like a pretty yellow. I like that. That's like a little trim piece at the bottom. Why don't we do that? See my measuring? I measure so precisely. I put my finger there <laughs> and, hope it, and hope it all lines up. Oh, yeah. uh, okay, I'll be with you in a minute. It's really, it's not quite time. I'm talking to my dog. I'm just adding a little bit of ink. I'm just gonna mess it up a little bit. Mess it up a little bit. Ventify. Vintage. Ventageify. Let's distress a little bit. Okay. And then we'll put this on. And that'll be that. And then we'll come back and do a little ink on there. But that's okay. You can peel this ink right off. All right. So there's the front of the envelope. 
minus my sewing. So I'll come back and I'll sew that. And then um, I'll do some work here and here. And then uh, I'm going to go feed him. And then uh, I'll finish this up and we'll probably do another one or two in the next video together. Okay, guys, so that's just a couple of things I just wanted to come on and share today. What's on my desk and what's going on down here in South Florida. All right, guys, have a blessed day. Bye-bye.